All right, we have some breaking news coming in. Trouble mounting in for K. Kavita. Now, what we are getting to know is that the CBI has arrested K. Kavita this after it quizzed K. Kavita. Remember, earlier she was in the ED custody. And there is a trouble mounting in for BRSS, M BRS MLC K Kavita, daughter of K Chandrasekhar Rao. And it's a big update that which, which we are getting to you. First on Republic TV, remember CBI had informed the court yesterday that it has questioned the BRS leader in the Delhi excise policy case. And uh, remember on the 5th of April, the court had allowed the CBI to quiz Kavita in jail an order which she had challenged but right now she is now being arrested by the CBI the Central Bureau of Investigation that is the big update we have right now remember uh, K Kavita is one of the key accused in uh, in, in in the Delhi liquor policy case she's been at the forefront of a role has been is, is uh, claimed to be by the ed uh, a, a major role as far as the south lo lobby is concerned and my colleague and senior editor shavan sen joins us live on the broadcast for more uh, uh, shavan this is uh, first on republic tv after being uh, questioned by the cbi she has been arrested by this central agency now Well, in fact, she's currently in judicial custody. We're given to understand that uh, a permission was essentially sought and thereafter K. Kavita has been taken into custody by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Effectively, after uh, being taken into custody by the enforcement director, the CBI essentially moving an application seeking permission uh, to arrest uh, K. Kavita primarily because th they say that uh, the examination has only been done once in the past. Having said that, the enforcement director says that uh, she was part of the larger conspiracy in the excise policy along with Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and not just him but also Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia and uh, K. Kavita. In fact, the allegation that the Central Bureau of Investigation has also levelled is that uh, even before the excise policy was uh, put into effect, there was a meeting that took place between the South Group, which was essentially being led by K. Kavita, and she was in touch with Ahmadbi Party leaders for a favourable excise policy. In fact, uh, she had already told her close associates, Arun Ramachandra Pillai, that the uh, an excise policy is going to come up in the national capital, provided uh, kickbacks were actually provided uh, to the Ahmad B party. Now, that's the allegation that has been levelled by the Central Bureau of Investigation as well as the Enforcement uh, Director. Remember, her bail has already been rejected uh, by the court. She had already moved a bail plea during judicial custody. She's uh, currently in Tihar jail. In fact, we are given to understand that the CBI would be taking her into custody, which would essentially mean that she's taken out of the jail and uh, kept in the CBI lockup for, for the next few days. Now, uh, remains to be seen for how many days uh, would she be given the custody. As of now, no confirmation really coming in. Whether at all she's going to be produced before the court for uh, seeking the CBI custody, that is something that we'll have to wait and watch. But it only means more trouble for her because, remember, right now she does not have the option of moving any bail plea, number one. Number two, what is important to point out here is that uh, it only goes on to indicate the plan that the agency essentially has at this point in time because remember Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal is also currently in a judicial custody. Sources also indicating uh, that following the arrest of K, uh, K. Kavita by the Central Bureau of Investigation, there is a very high possibility that uh, Arvind Kejriwal would also be taken into custody uh, by the Central Bureau of Investigation. That decision uh, would only be taken slightly at a later stage uh, given the fact that the first move has also been done uh, by the CBI with regards uh, to K. Ka Kavita primarily because they essentially believe uh, that she's played a pivotal role uh, in not only giving kickbacks uh, to the Ahmadbi party leaders, but also the fact that she was in touch with Arvind Kejriwal as well as Manish Sisodia for favouring or tilting the excise policy in favour of the South Group. Well, that's a very important point that you have made here, Shavan, that Arvind Kejriwal might be also now, uh, might be, you know, be arrested by the CBI. But, uh, you know, help our viewers understand how does this really impact this entire investigation of the liquor gate because K. Kavita and Arvind Kejriwal are the two most prominent faces who are, who have been named in this entire alleged scam. And, uh, of course, this, uh, as you just pointed out, uh, brews more and more trouble for Arvind Kejriwal, the Aam Party itself.
Well, right now, remember, there are no possibilities, legal options really available before K. Kavita uh, Rakshita, primarily because uh, she would not have uh, the leeway right now to move yet another bail application because the moment the arrest actually takes place, she no longer is in judicial custody to begin with. Secondly, uh, it only means that, that the Central Bureau of Investigation would perhaps thereafter look at also taking into custody Arvind Kejriwal because if you really look at uh, this entire link that is essentially emerging between K. Kavita, Arvind Kejriwal and Mani Sisodia. Mani Sisodia, in fact, was first arrested by the Central Bureau of Investigation and thereafter taken into custody by the, the enforcement director. So, uh, if you really look at uh, the key characters as far as the, the excise policy is concerned, the alleged 